Welcome back to Barbecue with Greg. Let's put that meat on the grill. Let's get started. Hello, barbecue friends. Today, we're gonna to be firing up the Louisiana Grills Kamado here, and we're gonna make some pork back ribs. But we're gonna do it Halloween style. We'll light the grill, we'll get our meat ready. Let's get started. I'm gonna be using this hardwood lump charcoal here. Start off by putting some in the bottom here. Yep, we're just gonna start off by having some in the bottom and then we'll put the hot coals over top. We're gonna use our chimney starter here. Our newspaper at the bottom. Pour more coals in here. Okay, now we got this lit. Let's get our meat ready. Okay, here's the ribs we're working with here. Got them from my local meat store. So we'll look them over, see if there's any trimming to do. I'm gonna season it up with Killer Hogs Hot Barbecue Rub. Here, I see I'm gonna remove the membrane. So I'll get my knife in there. Okay. Trim off any bits here. A knife in there. Okay, these are good to go here. Start off seasoning the bottom of these. Okay, wrap these up until the grill's ready. Yeah, our chimney starter is doing pretty good here. Now I'm going to dump this over top of my coals. There we go. Camper here. It's about two sets of holes. Going to start off with our ceramic deflector here. Put that in. I'm going to put our bottom grill in. Let's close this up. Now I'm gonna adjust the top here to about one. And then we'll let our temperatures level out, then we'll get the meat on. The grill's been lit now for about 15 or 20 minutes. I have a dome temperature of about 250 degrees right now. Let's get those ribs on. You can see our marinade is somewhat sweated in there. I'm gonna start these off bone side up, meat side down. Okay, we'll close this up. We'll check back with these in about an hour, see where we're at, and we'll take the next step. All right, these ribs have been on for one hour. We gotta open this up, check it out, and I'll show you what I do next. Oh, these are coming along nicely. You can see some nice bone pull here. Got some juices starting to flow here. What I want to do is add a couple cubes of butter here. And of course some brown sugar. Really want to candy these up.
Here, we'll close the lid. We'll let that butter and brown sugar do its thing here, really flavor that up. Then we'll come back in maybe about a half hour and we'll do the next step. Okay, these ribs have been on for another half hour. So, so far we got a total cooking time of an hour and a half. Let's open it up, take the next step. Okay, you can see our sugar's all melted, our butter's all melted. Got really nice color on these ribs. Cool. Nice juices flowing. Smells delicious. Okay, now we're gonna flip these ribs over. And I wanna put them onto a... Again. Meat side up. There you can see I foil boated those ribs there. We're gonna so we got these wrapped and flipped. Just gonna take a measurement here. It's about 180 degrees there. Okay, we can close this down. I'm gonna wait about 15 minutes, then we'll do the next step. We're now at a total cooking time of two hours. Let's open the lid and we'll get these Halloween ready. All right, see these are coming along nicely here. So, what I wanna do, of course add a little bit more butter. A little more brown sugar. I got these Halloween caramels. Set those on there. What doesn't say Halloween if you don't use candy corn? Put some candy corns on there. All right, we'll close our lid. Let these go for about another half hour. We'll check on it and we'll see you then. I just checked on these. We're at a total cooking time of two hours and 15 minutes. I'll show you what it looks like, but these are ready to come off. Everything is melted in nicely here. So I'm gonna pull these off, let them rest, and we'll come back for the taste test. Well, this was a fun cook on this beautiful fall day, but it's gonna come down to the taste test. So you've got a nice smoke ring in there. Of course, that got a piece of candy corn and some caramel on top. So let's have a bite. First time I've ever done this. Mm. <laughs> okay, it sure is candied up here. Mm. First thing I taste is all that sweetness. Look at that, just pulls apart. Mm. Okay, not bad. The caramel and the candy corn's getting caught in my teeth here. It's very sweet. You taste that little bit of savoriness in the meat itself. A little bit of smokiness. This was a fun cook to try. If you like this cook, smash that like button. You want to see more of these cooks? Click that subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Barbecue with Greg.
Thanks for watching Barbecue with Greg. One of those barbecue cooking shows people watch on YouTube sometimes.